When you're creating a Schoology course, one of the main features of Schoology is the organizational system that you will use by using their folder system. So you can see here I have a number of different folders that's going to make it easy for my students to navigate to the coursework for them. But one of the things that you can include at the very top of your page is something called a page which you can display so that when your students land on your course it gives them some basic information about your course. So you can see here I have a title and I have some information. Um, I have some instructions. You can include images. I also have a hyperlink to a website. In addition to these features you can also embed a video whether it be from YouTube or another site or you can even record your own video include that in a page as well. So I'm going to jump on over to a blank course and I'm going to show you how to work with pages and how to create a page and also show you how to display it right on your screen. So let's pop on over to a blank course. So you can see this course doesn't have any material in it yet. I haven't even devised my folder system yet of how I'm going to be organized my materials, but I'm going to create a front page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on add materials and I'm going to come down to the option that says add page. And this is going to present me with a new window where I'm going to be able to put any information I want my students to see when they first land on my course. Now you can add pages to folders as well, but I'm going to show you how to create a page so that it actually displays right when the students access your course. So you can see here in the provided text box, I have added some text and any text that you add, you will have some editing options very similar to what you will see in other productivity tools so that you can change the size and you can use bold and italics and underlines as well. And you have over here where you can change the font size if you want your title to stand out a little bit. If you would like to add an image to it, what you are going to do is you're going to click on this tool over here and when you hover your mouse on any of these tools, you'll get um, a little message telling you what it does and you're going to click on this drop down and you're going to select image media. So I already have an image that I have saved to my computer that I found on the web. So I'm going to click on attach file and then I'm just going to navigate to wherever that saved image is. So we'll just click on this particular image as an example and you can see here it automatically shows up. Now, if you want to resize it, you can by clicking on the image and then clicking in one of the corners of the image so that the perspective remains the way it should. And you can just continue to do that. If you would like to change where this picture is laid out, you can use the alignment tools to center align or bring it to the right or to the left. So we're going to center align this. So now my image is now going to appear on my page as well. And if you want, you can also link to any particular website that maybe you have a class website, something that you want the students to have access to all the time that's going to be right on your page. And you can do that as well. To link to a website, all you need to do is type in some words that you want to actually link to, or you could even link an image to a particular website. For example, here's a student resource page that I want all the students to have access to all the time. This is going to link to a website that has links to all the sites we're going to use all year long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this text and then I'm going to come up here to where it says insert content and you can see there's a shortcut here to link but you can also use it over here and click on link as well. And then what you're going to do is simply paste the website address that you want to link to and you can see here the title that has already been inputted because I typed it in and then I click insert. And you can see here, this is now a hyperlink. It's not active until I actually save this, but this is now a hyperlink to the page that I want for my students. I'm just going to highlight it and make it a little bit bigger so that it stands out. So again, you can add additional features to this. There are other things that you can add, which we'll show in some other videos when we show you how to add additional resources. But once you're done, what you're going to do is come down here to where it says options. Now, normally this page would not display automatically on my front page. However, you can see here, this little icon is grayed out. If I click on display on page or display in line, this is what I want right now. I want it to display in line, which means it's going to display right on the page as opposed to opening up in a new page. So then what I'm going to do is click create. And you can see now this is going to be available. As soon as my students access my course, this page is going to show up and they will have quick access to it. 
need to make any changes to it or you need to add some additional information or something that you want the students to see, all you need to do is click on the little gear next to your page and click on the edit button and this will bring you back to that editing box and then you can make changes to whatever you need.